Okay, so we've generated an SSH key and we've also added that SSH key to our digital ocean, ocean account. It's now time to set up our three droplets or virtual machines. On the front page, you'll see this option here, create droplet. I'm actually gonna ignore that and go to this option in the top right, which is always present throughout the UI and is easier to access. So we're gonna to go to create droplets. So here, the first thing that we do is we choose an image. We're gonna go straight to Ubuntu and then we choose our plan. We're just gonna go with general systems, standard, and we're just gonna build $5 virtual machines because the workloads that we're doing are very, very low power. We don't need backups at this time. We don't need to add additional block storage and you should create these in the region that is closest to you. I'm in Australia, so I'm gonna create them in Singapore. We don't need private networking, IPv6. We don't need to provide any user data at this point in time, and we don't need monitoring. And our authentication will be via SSH keys. And I'm going to select the key that I created previously. The key was called the cloud coach. You can also create a new SSH key from this page here. Now, I'm gonna name these servers Ansible Crash Course. And as I've said, we need three of them. So all we do is just increment this here to three. And we've got Ansible Crash Course. I'm gonna add zero one to the end. Then we've got zero two, and then we've got zero three. Okay, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna add Ansible as a tag. And I'm gonna add Crash and Course, just for the sake of it. And I'm going to put them in the Ansible Crash Course project too. All we do now is click Create Droplet, and DigitalOcean will now begin to create those droplets for us. As you can see, they're whipping away over here. Eventually, we'll get IP addresses, which we can then use to SSH into each server. We will do that in the next video, but what we'll do as well is add them to our Ansible inventory so that we can see Ansible in action. And that is how you create three virtual machines in DigitalOcean very, very quickly.